Hi everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to Thimbleweed Park for some more point and click adventure game action. Uh, we're right back here where we left off in Madame Morena's occult shop with all the creepy weird eyes and stuff. Um, we were looking for the book for the weird room at the top of the penthouse. Um, sort of a book we need to pick up about not bodybuilding it's got to be like a bringing back the dead or something um what's that Does it say 50 shades of gray 50 shrouds of gray <laughs> how to hex i can't see it yeah we're looking for the book um vegan vampires um, there's some funny books in here. I wonder if you, uh, I suppose you probably can read them. I mean, that's the type of thing you really want to do. Walk to 10 magical ways to upgrade to Windows 10. Um, there's a binary book there. Uh, but I know about that binary thing now because once again, S. Thomas has come in with the goods. I mean, S. Thomas is pretty much like the Thimbleweed Park wiki page just knows everything about this game so thanks for the tips because apparently I was like ridiculously close to completing the binary thing oh we can get up here I can't read I can't reach that I can't reach that can we not what oh we've got to move it have we got to move it apparently I was ridiculously close to move it to the right there we go to complete it. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna just go up here, see if there's anything at the top first. No way. We are not checking all these. There's something about the chuck there. Oh, hang on. Cursed book. That's gotta be it, right? Right at the top. It's a book with a skull on the cover. Huh, that not has got just to be any it. book with a skull on the cover. It's the book of the dead. Take it if you wish. It's on the house. But yes. Beware. Oh, hang on. Beware of what? Uh, nothing. It just sounded ominous. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's pick it up. Oh, that's got to be the one we need, right? It's even glowing. Don't touch the book. Lucky I didn't you check all these books want. on the way up. Down we go. Come on, keep going. Right, apparently, I was ridiculously close to decoding this will. Like, ridiculously close. Um, so I'm going to go and do that first. And I'm going to show you all how stupid I am. Um, I mean, to be fair, there's probably a good chance you were shouting at your screen, saying, What are you doing? It's really obvious. Um, so I apologise if you're one of those people who had like a full on panic attack because of oh no Doug uh, because of how stupid I was but you see how I said there's this graphics basic here and I tried to use the will on it well apparently I was meant to pick it up and I didn't do that <laughs> and then we use it on the computer. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with graphics basic. And we now run the wheel for it. <laughs> oh, it's all working. I have to do is pick it up. Whoever created graphics basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. So annoying. 15 minutes of coding and decoding later. There's the wheel. It's all in gibberish. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to oh, find a key no. to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. Uncle Chuck's lucky number. Find and use Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He won the lottery. Ooh, I wonder if. Hi, 
Doug. No. No. Go away, Doug. Oh, I hate Doug so much. Mostly holes. Yeah, yeah, dig the holes. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good yeah, job. Yeah, doing a brilliant Dad job. Dolores. Just go and dig somewhere else. Okay. So now we need to convert it to hex. There's also another puzzle that apparently I missed. I don't know how I did that. Um, but this is what S. Thomas tells me. Apparently I should have looked behind the bins. Behind the diner where people were being sick. Um, and apparently that triggers a puzzle. Um, but I didn't get to do that, weirdly. So I might go and do that at some point. But first I want to convert this wheel. So, um, I've got an idea. If you won the lottery... Oh, no, I wanted to come here as well. Because this used to be the bakery, didn't it? And this lady mentioned something about thimbleberry pies. How'd she get over there? Hi, Dolores. Ooh, there's oh, there's dust over, over the there as well. We can talk. Welcome to Ricky's Down the Tubes. How can I help you? Ricky, yes. You make such Maybe she can tell us how to make pie. one. Can I get one? I'm sorry, hon. I'm out of the pie making biz. Strictly tubes now. Oh no! I have a problem then. In order to hear my uncle's will read, I need one of your famous thimbleberry pies. Well, Come in on. honor of your uncle Chuck, I'd make an exception. But there just oh. aren't any more thimbleberries left. Your uncle had them harvested to a Yeah, there are. Yeah, there are. But, but where were the last ones you know about? It's sad, that little it? trail. The last thimbleberries were spotted out in the old forest. Not the forest. I always hated it in there. Yes, pretty spooky. No one goes there unless they have to. People have been lost in there for days. Days! And I heard some never make it out alive. <laughs> it's true. I've heard those stories too. And then there's it's the not true. problem. So... First thing, you'll need some thimbleberry picking gloves. You know how those thorns can leave you breaking out. Yeah, because I tried to pick I them before. To have an old pair I <gasps> Thanks. Yes. Oh, it's all coming together, guys. It's all coming together. Is that ringing? It's out of order. But how is it ringing? It's out of order, but how what? is it ringing? That's weird. It's ringing faster and faster. It's alright, we don't want to come down here. This is the wrong street. We're on B Street, and I wanted A Street. I always get confused between A Street and B Street. Right, Nickel News. I reckon this woman will know about the lottery winner. Hello, Dolores. How's life in the big city? Uh, having a lot of fun. Having a lot of fun. Interested in a little interview for the award-winning nickel? I'm sure our readers would be fascinated. Uh, maybe after the will maybe reading. Maybe after the will reading. It's a perfect way to get your side of the story out. Local girl makes good making... Making... What is it you make again? Adventure games. Games. Ah, games. You mean for kids? Ah. <laughs> no. No, not kids. our main audience is adults. Lots of shooting and killing, that sort of thing. No. You solve puzzles and navigate great interactive dialogues. You solve puzzles and navigate great interactive dialogues. You mean like the one we're having right now? Yes. Yeah, but mine are better written. I hope so. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure why, why I stopped by. Stop by. That's okay. I know times are tough for you. Uh, okay. I'm a little confused over my feelings for Uncle Chuck. I'm a little confused over my feelings for Uncle Chuck. He was a complex man. <laughs> okay, I need I to go. I think I need to go. Thanks for talking, Natalie. Bye, Dolores. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Chuck's passing. Bye, Natalie. Yeah. Bye. Let's pick this up. Did anyone else see something flash up when I came past here? About Edmund. <laughs> oh, what a stroke of luck. What a stroke of luck. I can read it fine from here. 
Oh, let's read it. I don't have a brick cage to line. Huh? Oh. Using his lucky number 16. Ha ha ha. Right, so we know his lucky number now. Find and use the lucky number. How do we use the lucky number on the will? It doesn't work with that. Huh. How do we use his lucky number? Hmm. Find and use... Oh, I didn't know we could close it. Find and use Uncle Chuck's lucky number. Well, we know his lucky number is 16. It's right there. But how do we use it? Huh. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Madame Moreno says, I told you so. Oh, I'm not sure there is. Okay. Um, oh, we didn't pick up that speck of dust. Damn it, I hope it's still there. This is good. Did we get it? I think we got it. How many do we need now? 16! We're, um, we're getting a lot of these. Right. Find and use Uncle Chuck's lucky number. How do we use number 16? I don't know. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. Can we... Unless we can pick that up. I don't know. What's going on? It's got a decent... It's something with this, isn't it? We did win it. Because it's right here. So he won one million dollars in the quickie pal lotto using his lucky number 16. Can we stop it? Dolores, stop it. Can we pick that up? I can read it fine from here. Well, she Hello, knows Dolores. about it now. No. Oh. Mind if we talk some more about Uncle Chuck? Oh, I could write a whole book about his ego and arrogance. Okay. I think I need to go. Thanks for talking, Natalie. Bye, Dolores. Bye, Natalie. So his lucky number is 16. How do we use that? I don't know. I really don't know. And anyway, we've got a couple of other things to do. We'll think about it. We'll have a little think about that one. No, not the factory. Not the circus. That thing is just terrifying, isn't it? Right, hotel. Going up to the penthouse to put this book down. Let's see if old Wassy's face over there starts spying on the guest again. Seems to enjoy doing that, the weirdo. Yep, there he is. Spying on the guests, you weirdo. Okay, penthouse. Right, so we know the lucky number's 16. How are we gonna... Can we use that on it? I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know. I'll figure it out. It will be figured out, guys. Don't worry about that. Right, let's use this book on this thing. Haha, <laughs> it is the I one. I think it needs to be glowing to be able to work. It needs something from the dead. Ah. Well, luckily we have a dead person right here. Can we not just, like, zap it or something? That doesn't use electricity. We'll blow on it. We'll chill it. 
It's a tiny bit chilly all of a sudden. Is it glowing now? It needs something else, doesn't it? I think it needs to be glowing thing. to be able to work. What do we have that smells? I don't think this thing is working properly yet. It needs something from the dead. Okay. We need the smelly thing. Anyway. What we need to do... Is try and see if we can trigger this puzzle, right? Um, which S. Thomas told us about. Which is going down here. Apparently we have to look down here or something. So let's try yes. it. I can use it by tossing something in it. Uh, look. Where's look? There's look. Pretty disgusting. Uh, maybe we can't trigger it. It's, it's just a stack of empty boxes. Yeah, I don't Pretty think we disgusting. can trigger it now. Oh well. Maybe something we had to do before if everyone left Fimbleweed Park and came back. I don't know. There used to be a thing we could trigger down there. Um, I don't know what it was. It's just apparently a new puzzle became available. If we look behind there. I don't know, maybe it's a wind-up. I don't think it is. Evening. Um, right. What do we have to do? Get into the pillow factory. Ransom. Break into the pillow factory. Collect the dust. Right, so we need something that smells nice to go on there. We do, however... have Dolores here. Uh, what is... Th it's L, isn't it? Or is it M? No, L is Lobby. Let's go and get those Thimbleberries, at least. we still got to get into that safe as well. In Chuck's room. Don't know how we're going to do that. Wait, can we just use the map inside? Oh, we can. What an idiot. Right. <clears throat> Where is that little passage? It's down here somewhere, isn't it? We might have to go to the abandoned factory and then walk out. Okay. Maybe we don't. What is the trailhead? Oh no, this is the trailhead. Right, so we need to get... How's that guy going? Anyway, we need to get... I think we need to get Reyes over here. Who's got the bear repellent and crap? Huh. Maybe no one's got the bear repellent anymore? Oh, well, no one's got the bear repellent. Right, okay, let's go to the quickie pal. We'll get the bear repellent. Here it is. If we pick up some bear repellent... Welcome to right. quickie pal. Can I help you find anything? No, I just want this bear repellent. Take it. It's another sample from the traveling animal repellent salesman. Cool. See you later, weirdo. Okay. Here we go, then. Back to the trailhead. We need to get Reyes over here. Because he's got the head or whatever. I mean, the head doesn't take us... Maybe we don't need the head. We'll give her the head anyway, just in case. Um, right. You go to the trailhead. Okay. Rares. Give... Who the hell is this now? Where's Thanks. everyone going? Right, so we've got the bear repellent. And we've got the... The head of the navigator. So we're good. And we've got the gloves. So we can now go into the forest and get the thimbleberries. But we'll do that next time because we are out of time. So, progress made. Thank you again, S. Thomas, for all your tips. Um, 
yeah, they're coming in really handy. <laughs> I can't believe I got that. Didn't pick up that graphics basic thing. That was, um, yeah, amateur hour already, wasn't it? <laughs> so, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.